There are dozens of large cities across the U.S. that we'd all know about, but when it comes to their population, we might not know as much. We can make guesses, but the accuracy of those guesses will probably not be very good. Let's start with an example for the thumbnail. You can guess the population in this city. This is 1.3 million people in the metro area. Not 500,000 if you compare it to another city that's close by that you might think is the same size. The city is indeed bigger than Memphis. And if you couldn't tell by now, it's Grand Rapids. Well, it's only bigger than Memphis if you include the combined statistical area. If you only talk about the metro area, it's a different story. But 1.1 million people for the metro area is still pretty good. And much more than its neighbor Lansing at a measly 540,000 people. Let's move away from Grand Rapids and into the Hampton Roads region. This is the largest example in this video with a population of 1.7 million people. If you ask the person what the largest city in Virginia is, they'd probably say Richmond. Richmond is not the largest city in Virginia. It's actually the Hampton Roads region with almost half a million more people. But that's a lie. I just lied to you. You see, the Hampton Roads region is actually the second largest city in Virginia. Want to know what the first is? Washington, D.C. Yes, I really just said Washington, D.C. is the largest city in Virginia. Well, the Virginia side of the Washington, D.C. metro is the largest city in Virginia. The Virginian part of D.C. Is actually contains 3 million people, which is over a million more than second place Hampton Roads. I think the reason that most people think the Hampton Roads isn't that big is because they think of it as one medium-sized city, not four. And combined, these cities make the Hampton Roads region with almost 1.8 million people. Now we're going to go through a few twin cities, kind of like Dallas, Fort Worth, or Minneapolis, St. Paul. First we have Greensboro, Winston-Salem. You can throw in Burlington and High Point if you want to be fancy. Now Winston-Salem and Greensboro are right in between Raleigh and Charlotte, which are two much larger metro areas. And the area kind of does get overshadowed by both of these cities. I do have a video on this topic. We're going to keep looking at Twin Cities, but the population is going to go low, 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 low. Anyway, we're looking at Fort Myers, Cape Coral, and maybe Naples. Now, Fort Myers is in Florida, a state rich in big cities. We have four main ones, Miami, Orlando, Tampa, and Jacksonville. And the combined statistical area for Fort Myers is actually the 40th biggest metro area in the country. But for the 1.2 million people that live in this area, you're just not big enough. You can't expect to be famous when you're only the fifth biggest metro area in your state. But now we're in Texas, where we find Colleen and Temple. This one is the smallest Twin Cities example we'll look at in this video, with only 500,000 people. If you can't tell, Colleen and Temple, but mostly Colleen, are military towns. Most of the development is based around Fort Cavazos, formerly Fort Hood. And this area is also along the I-35 corridor in the Texas Triangle, which is one of the fastest growing areas in the country. But now we say goodbye to Twin Cities, and now to single metro areas, where we first look at Dayton. Dayton is the 75th largest city in the country with 800,000 people in the metro area. Similar to Greensboro and Winston-Salem, it gets overshadowed by both Cincinnati and Columbus. Now, I do think one of the big reasons its population is so big in the first place is exerting growth into Cincinnati as it is only 45 minutes away. And it's also much cheaper than Cincinnati. Well, we can't spend that long in Ohio, so let's move to our final example, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. This is the only capital we've looked at in this video. And now I want you to guess the population of Baton Rouge. Here's a hint. Whatever you're thinking, add 250,000. Because the answer is that there's 870,000 people in the metro area. And that's bigger than other more famous examples like El Paso, Columbia, or Charleston. And it's not like other cities in this area of, th of the biggest cities list that receive more of their growth from being close to a bigger city. Because Baton Rouge is all on its own. You might be saying, but wait, what about New Orleans? New Orleans is actually disconnected from Baton Rouge, unless you call farmland along the Mississippi River as connected urban growth. So those 870,000 people in Baton Rouge are all by themselves. And here's something crazy. The biggest suburb of Baton Rouge, Central, has a population of only 29,000, which is actually extremely small for a city with 800,000 people in the metro area. Now, I'm not sure if this proves more that Baton Rouge is a big city with small suburbs, or if Wyoming is just a really sparsely populated state. Either way, those are all of our examples. If you made it this far in the video, you should subscribe, because subscribing is for cool kids. You know what's also for cool kids? Watching this video right here.